Well, I've been set up about 40 minutes. Stand by the jet plane going by. Hold on. Jet plane is gone. No customers yet. Might be a slow Thursday again today. Can't never tell about this business at this market. I got uh, a few things I need to share with you. But I'm not going to share it until I'm on the way home where I can show you what it is. I can tell you what it is now. As you know, winter is coming. And this place is cold in the wintertime. I've been uh, dealing with a lady who has a shop. Actually, she has a small parking, I mean, a small complex of shops, I should say. Oops, my damn phone's ringing. Stand by. Okay. I'm back. Uh, I don't remember exactly where we were, but I told you I'm thinking about land base in this sharpening operation in a shop in Virginia Beach. November the 1st, November the 15th, in that range. In addition to Max the knife sharpening, I'm going to open up a detector store selling detectors and scoops and related accessories. What I need is for you guys to come up with a name for my detecting business. Make it uh, Max Metal Detectors of Virginia Beach or Virginia Beach Metal Detectors. Or I have to have a name. So when I get a business license, I have a name to use. I need for it to be unique and so people will remember it. So I'm sticking it out there. You guys let me know what you think the name should be. I'm going to be selling mostly mine lab metal detectors. And I don't know for sure. Maybe it's just from Tesoro's. I don't think I can sell Garrett's or White's because there's a local hobby town here that within 10 miles of where I'll be that probably sells those and I probably can't be, I won't be able to sell them. But I don't know what Garrett's uh, policies are either. But anyway, that's something for us to think about and see if I jump off this venture. I'm writing to get an internet quote right now to see what the internet service is going to cost a month. I know what the rent is. Rent's okay. I can handle rent. It's a, I'll, I'll send you some pictures. I'll show you some pictures at the end of the video what this place looks like. I'll stop by there on my way home. I mean, I stopped by there this morning and looked at it and talked to the lady who owns it. But that's as far as I went and got a monthly rate. And I've been looking at it for three weeks. And I found out that the people who are in this small part of her business are, are leaving at the end of October. All right, stand by. Danny's at the land of Nada, the northern end, where the buttons come from. Beaver went last night. Beaver hunted three places in Nada and did uh, fairly good. He found a bunch of stuff. He found a big stainless steel ring. Uh, I think that was the best of it. There's a little bit of change, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right. I'll see you later. Well, I did end up with one knife so far. Frost cutlery, pocket knife. I've done it once before belongs to one of the uh, vendors here in the uh, farmer's market. The guy works at the uh, butcher shop. He's sharp. Okay. Stand by. There's where it is right there. 
Stand by. You have to go in through this door here. Then there's offices all down here on the left and the right. Like this, you see. That'd be in this one right here. Stand by. You can come in from down there. Or you can come in from here. Size-wise, it's perfect. Location-wise, it's okay. The problem is there's not much signage. You see, there's no signs on the building. You have to have the heads of sign that you can't see that truck's in the way of right now. There's a sign on the road with all these little vendors' names underneath of it. Not very big. But today, with the internet and all the types of communications, I guess they could find you if they wanted to. Stand by. Now keep in mind, this is not set in concrete. That's the sign I was telling you about. I'm just looking at this spot. I kind of like this spot of the other spots that I've looked at. 